So how can we actually deal with this? I've tried to get calmer and not quite so passionate. How do we actually deal with this? If we claim to be filled with the Holy Spirit, sanctified, mature, and we are filled with fear, we're lying to ourselves. We are absolutely lying to ourselves if we are filled with fear. And, and now, fear, once it becomes ingrained into us, begins to go just outside of the emotional and physical realm, and it begins to go into the spiritual realm. People that have confessed their sins, setting in absolute fear that they are still not going to make it. I go through those stretches. I'm not condemning you. I go through those times. Why would God save me? Because um, he said. Doesn't matter how I feel. It matters what God said. That, and when God says it, that makes it true. See, the devil begins to, well, look at your failures. We have fear of failure. We have fear of rejection. We already talked about that. But because of that fear of failure, we, we begin to look at ourselves and say, well, I'm never going to be good enough. Well, settle that in yourself. You're never going to be good enough. You will never be good enough to make it to heaven. So how are you going to make it to heaven? Because God says... If you confess your sins, he will forgive your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. If you will open the door, he will come in and he will fellowship with you. That's God says that. And so what we begin to look at is we've got to look at it from the perspective of God rather than ourselves. And if we say that we are mature in Christ and we are filled with fear, then we are lying. We do not have perfect love. 1 John 4.18 There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. How, how much clearer can we be? What is perfect love? What, what is that? Jesus was asked, what is the greatest commandments of all? And Jesus said, there are two. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all of the, thy heart, mind, soul, and strength. And the second is like it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. See, what we do so often, in, in, even in Christian music and so-called worship, we, we talk about love, but it isn't love that we're talking about. It, love can display itself in many different ways. And all this, oh, I love you, I love you, I love you, is not perfect love and that's why we've lost this because we've got this attitude well Christ loves us so we can live however we want to hogwash I didn't say it loud dad hogwash that has nothing to do with love but perfect love cast out fear because fear has torment <laughs> 